Good morning. I'm Matt Bystrack, Superintendent of Schools with the West Seneca School District. It's Friday, April 16th. Uh, this is just my weekly update. So, uh, as you know, a couple of days ago, uh, we communicated to our uh, families uh, that uh, planned uh, to return elementary students uh, to campus, all of our hybrid elementary students to our campuses. Uh, four days per week. We're looking to do that starting April 26th. Uh, the new State Department of Health guidelines uh, will enable us to do that. Uh, over the past several weeks, we've been measuring uh, to just make sure that we can be in compliance. There's a three-foot uh, requirement between students, uh, teachers, adults still have to be six feet apart uh, you know, from kids and from other adults. Uh, but uh, through some creative work with our uh, Buildings and Grounds Department and our principals, we do feel that we can make this work. Uh, our teachers have been you know, frantically measuring classrooms and moving things around, so we do believe that we're going to be able to make this work, and we're excited about that. Uh, so the, on that note, uh, the reason we're looking at four days per week as opposed to the five days per week and keeping Wednesdays fully virtual is that, uh, to move things around for Wednesdays would require a significant number of logistical maneuvers at this point with the special area classes, even with dismissal times. Um, so that's something we're going to assess, uh, but for the time being, we're starting off at just four days per week. So uh, we also indicated, too, uh, that we were going to be moving away from the live casting model for all of our elementary grades. This is the elementary buildings, uh, except for fifth grade. Fifth grade, we are still assessing. Uh, we're trying to look for a little bit of flexibility here to, at the very least, uh, significantly reduce the amount of live casting so that our teachers can uh, devote all of their attention to the students in front of them, whether that be you know our remote teachers that we're creating that are going to be talking with students on a screen, or our teachers that have the students physically in person. Uh, we just we feel this is going to be important. Uh, it will be a nice springboard uh, into the next school year. So, uh, one of the things that I guess I wanted to be able to bring up to everyone too, transportation. That's a question that's come up. Uh, we're going to do our very best to space our students out on our school buses. Uh, I know a number of our parents drive our students, and that's actually very helpful. It reduces the population density on our buses. One of the things it does do, though, is create quite a bit of traffic in our parking lots. It's a little bit of a catch-22, uh, but I will say uh, our staff has been working very hard to coordinate it as orderly and effective uh, a dismissal and arrival process. The West Seneca Police has been of assistance, and our parents have been incredibly patient and respectful of the processes that we have in place. So I just want to thank everybody for that. We're going to continue to work to make that happen be as safe as humanly possible. So um, one of the things uh, somebody had asked, uh, well, what if I do need transportation? Just call our transportation department. Uh, all the routes are already scheduled, so it's just a matter of calling them and letting them know that you need transportation. I did receive another question from families saying, well, what if I'm a fully remote, uh, my child is fully remote and they want to come back? Uh, you know, at this point, what I would say is contact the uh, building principal uh, and we, we will do everything we can to accommodate that request. Ultimately, it's going to be based on space. Uh, we will be having a parent forum uh, next Wednesday, April 21st at 3 p.m. All right, it's going to be like a live streamed event. We did something similar to this a couple of times back last fall uh, where I'm going to be uh, basically just answering some questions. There's an email address uh, that you can email questions to. It's parentquestions at wscschools.org. That's right on our website, right on the home page. Uh, we're collecting questions, and then we'll also have uh, a couple of folks with some laptops that will take a few questions live as well, just to, if parents have any thoughts or feedback. Again, what we'd like to do is start on the 26th of April with this, uh, but we are taking some time to uh, engage some of the members of our community, uh, whether it be families or teachers or you know, some of our other staff in the buildings, just to, you know, to, to get some thoughts about this return. So um, I will also say that next Wednesday, all right, so the 21st, that same date, uh, our teachers uh, are going to, it's going to be a largely asynchronous day for the elementary schools. Uh, basically, our, our uh, teachers are going to be checking in with the students, uh, and then uh, from there, uh, they're going to go and start rearranging their classrooms. So there'll be some asynchronous work there. They just need some time to move desks around and things like that. So anyway, uh, this again affects our elementary buildings. So West Elementary, Clinton Street, uh, Allendale, Northwood, and Winchester. Very excited to be able to increase uh, this amount of contact time in person for our students. Uh, and we're looking forward to uh, making this work. So anyway, I hope everyone has a great weekend and uh, we'll talk to you next Friday.